It's time now for a look at some local sports and sports. The NCAA championship football game was over at halftime as Alabama just too strong for Ohio State. Final score 52 24 as Heisman Trophy winner Devontae Smith put on a show in the first half with 12 catches for 215 yards and three touchdowns. Injured his hand, didn't play much in the second half, but the damage was done. Bama wins, and Nick Saban wins his seventh overall national championship. He breaks the tie with legendary coach Bear Bryant. It's his sixth title with Alabama in 12 years at the school, and all reports say he just had his best recruiting year ever. So Alabama will be in the mix again this college football season. Remarkable season as Alabama played an entire SEC schedule during the pandemic season, which most believed wouldn't see a college football season back in March as the Big Ten and Pac-12 shut everything down but eventually joined everyone a couple months later into the season. Ohio State played only six games, but got to the Final Four, beat up on Clemson. Bama whipped up on Notre Dame, but last night Alabama whipped up on Ohio State, getting Nick Saban back on top. College football, six titles in 12 years at Alabama. At age 69, shows no signs of slowing down or stepping away. NFL playoff set for this weekend. Once again, we'll have all four games for you this weekend here on WIFO FM. First game Saturday will be around 4.30 as the L.A. Rams will be at Green Bay. The night game on Saturday is Baltimore at Buffalo. Then on Sunday, the two matches begin around 3 o'clock with the Cleveland Browns at Kansas City, and the night game on Sunday will close it out with Tampa Bay and quarterback Tom Brady at New Orleans take on quarterback Drew Brees and the Saints. This will be the third meeting of the Saints and Buccaneers this year as their divisional rivals. New Orleans has won the first two meetings this season. One other NFL note, now there are seven NFL coaching vacancies as on Monday Philadelphia Eagles fired Doug Peterson, who just won a Super Bowl with the team three years ago. Coach bench started quarterback Carson Wentz. Late in the season, the favorite Jalen Hurst out of Alabama. Apparently, management likes Carson Wentz and wants him to remain in Philadelphia. So Peterson is out looking for his next job. Falcons former coach Dan Quinn has found work. He'll be the new defense coordinator with the Dallas Cowboys. And these coaches just recycle and stay in the game. It's a nice return to begin. COVID-19 has hit the high school basketball boys team. They're in quarantine up until January 18th, according to Coach Ray, which means this past weekend's games were canceled. This games, The games this weekend for the boys have been canceled as well. Jackets were supposed to be in Douglas Friday, down at Glenn Saturday. But again, both those games were called due to COVID-19 protocols. The varsity girls, meanwhile, have rescheduled a game. They're going to play this Wednesday at home against Southeast Bullock. Again, the JV and varsity girls will play. This is a home game. So, again, that's this Wednesday, tomorrow here at the Benny Radliff Arena. The girls also looking to play Pierce County this Saturday at home, also at the Benny Radliff Arena. Recreation, baseball, softball, golf, tennis registration, track registration underway at the rec department. Again, the baseball, softball registration takes place up until February 13th. And you can call the rec department at 427-5915 or go on their website and register. Again, the deadline for the baseball softball is February 13th. Summer and golf registration goes up to May 3rd, and the track registration also ends on February 13th. Again, for more information, call the rec department at 427-5915. That's going to do it for the latest in local sports. sports.